Lawmakers in Russia have voted to decriminalize domestic abuse. That means that if a husband decides to beat his wife, uh, he doesn't have to worry about it being a criminal act. And the lawmakers argue, hey, we're just doing this to kind of protect the privacy of these families. We don't want to get so involved. If a parent wants to hit their kid, that's their business. We don't want to get involved in it. Well, uh, there is also some propaganda going around regarding how domestic abuse toward women is actually a good thing. So uh, there was a publication, a popular publication in Russia, known as the Komsol, Komsoloskaya uh, Pravada newspaper. And uh, apparently they uh, wrote a column citing a very questionable study indicating that, hey, when uh, a wife gets beaten, she's more likely to have a boy. And that's good, right? That's an upside. So a column in this paper, one of the country's most popular papers, has said that women should find solace in the fact that women who suffer domestic violence are more likely to give birth to boys. It says, for years, women who have been smacked around by their husbands have found solace in a rather hypocritical proverb, if he beats you, it means he loves you. However, a new scientific study is giving women new grounds to be proud of their bruises, insofar as women who are beaten, biologists confirm, have a valuable advantage. They're more likely to give birth to boys. Okay. So uh, well, they cited a... <laughs> A controversial uh, psychologist, his name is Satoshi Kanazawa, uh, who published this article back in 2005. It, there, there's, I, I, I can't imagine that uh, if you get beaten, you're more likely to have boys. And besides which, why is that an upside? Yeah, well, it would seem like if we have this epidemic of the boys beating the women, we would, in that context, perhaps want fewer. Uh, that's not my position, but you might draw that from this, this scientific study. Uh, I mean, look, I, I'm not a biologist. It's not impossible that maybe the sorts of men who are more likely to beat women also for whatever genetic reason are more likely to produce male offsprings, maybe. But they would also then theoretically produce more male offsprings without the beating. I don't beating care. I don't care. Genetic. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This is insane. This mm -hmm. is telling women, oh yeah, if he beats you, you should be happy about it. Shut your mouth. No, it's a silver lining. This is not a silver lining. Okay. <laughs> I, first of all, you should be happy if you're gonna have a baby, regardless of the gender. This is insane. Yeah, you'll still um, be happy, just not as happy if it's a girl. And also, that's, that's not me that's, speaking. That's Kamalskaya Pravda. That's totally beside the point. G the gender of the baby, I, I don't care. That has nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. You sh like, it's insult to injury. You can't tell Literally. women who are being beaten and abused that, hey, this is cool. Like, this is great. Like, he loves you. This is where the expression insult, you know, to injury gets, comes from. <laughs> because oh, I, they are insulting the people who are just injured by their husband. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and look, I mean, obviously them decriminalizing the domestic abuse is the bigger issue because if you have this problem socially, you want the government to be taking action, but in a direction that helps to solve the problem, not that simply covers it up by taking away the, the actual legal consequences for it. And imagine yeah. if you're a woman there and your husband's been beating you, and now you see the government say, oh yeah, 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 that's totally fine. How would you feel knowing that your government doesn't give a damn about the struggle you're going through? Well, you know what other government doesn't give a damn about the struggle some women go through? Uh, the U.S. government, where mm -hmm. Republican lawmakers have voted again and again against the Violence Against Women Act. Violence Agreed. Against Women Act protects women from domestic abuse, and they vote against it, uh, which is insane. I mean, it doesn't make headlines, it's not a sexy story, but it's something to keep in mind while we sit here and criticize other countries for what they do. Fix the media. Be the media. Come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.